Elon Musk is doing some serious damage to crypto. No, that title isn't clickbait, that's actually how I feel right now. Trust me, I am far from alone in feeling that way. And I have some very real reasons as to why Elon Musk's actions have been spoiling the promise of one of the most important technological frontiers. There are some very real consequences we've had to deal with lately. That's what I'm here to talk about today. The first thing I want to say is that I, for a long time, was a huge fan and supporter of Elon Musk. For years, I've admired him, I've always loved SpaceX, I've always thought of Elon Musk as the kind of person we all aspired to be like. Not just the money and the success, but the drive and the ambition. Although I definitely still have admiration for him, a lot of that has changed for me pretty suddenly. You see, crypto as a concept is fueled by something very important that these digital currencies are meant to free people from the chains of a central authority. I mean, people who barely know the basics of what Bitcoin is have at least a loose understanding of the word decentralized, and the idea that by not being tied to one central authority, cryptocurrencies aren't subject to a single possible failure. At least, that's the way it's supposed to be. Recently, the success of certain cryptocurrencies, and quite frankly the entire market, have been in jeopardy and it's because of one man tweeting memes. I obviously don't want to turn this into a rant or a straight up Elon Musk bashing session, so I'm going to try to be as objective about this as possible. But it really seems like every other week, another Elon Musk tweet has sent a certain coin or the entire market tumbling. It's honestly shocking that one person Posting a meme has the power to affect the investments and the transactions of so many people, and when you look at it like that, it makes Elon Musk's actions that much more dangerously careless. Possibly the biggest misstep was Tesla's complete 180 on Bitcoin. It, it seems that um, you know, in, investing in the, the, the solar resource is the thing that, that's really going to preserve the, the long-term future. Not, not so much the oil and gas. I mean, that's, that's a temporary thing. Obviously, they're an innovative electric vehicle company, and it's contradictory to support the burning of fossil fuels, something that is primarily involved in the mining of Bitcoin. But you'd think that that's something Elon Musk would take into account before purchasing 1.5 billion in Bitcoin, accepting Bitcoin for transactions at Tesla, and then completely pivoting on his stance altogether. $300 billion in the entire market capitalization was erased that day. The worst cryptocurrencies in regards to energy usage are Ethereum at 62.56 kilowatts per hour and Bitcoin at a staggering 707 kilowatts per hour. And yes, that is an extremely inefficient use of energy, no matter how you look at it. It's a problem that's been addressed in the past, and I think by backpedaling on Bitcoin, Tesla was trying to highlight the environmental concerns, but that lack of foresight for what it might do to the market was accompanied by Elon tweeting his memes, which especially now just feels frivolous and disrespectful. Energy usage isn't the only factor to consider here. If we're really going to be analyzing the environmental impact, we have to look at it from every angle. What Elon Musk failed to address is that by replacing gold as a store of value, that helps the environment greatly. Increasing the usage and transactions of cryptocurrencies means the shrinking of big bank and coin usage, and that not only affects the environment, but also society as a whole. The Doge fiasco is another important example. We saw this huge influx of people following the herd, not doing their own research, trying to get in on it, I'm not sure how much of it was people who actually thought they were going to make serious money and how much of it was just people going along with the meme, but it really doesn't matter. The point is, it was hard to miss all the parading around for Dogecoin, and it got to the point where a ridiculous amount of normies that I know have no idea what crypto really is were investing in it. The Saturday Night Live disaster was its own thing, whatever, that's not something I particularly care about. But that one specific line Elon Musk said about his involvement with Dogecoin being a hustle didn't sit right with me, first of all. And yes, it was a joke, but it had real-world consequences when Dogecoin dropped. 
I thankfully didn't jump on that Doge bandwagon, but I know a lot of people did, and the fact that so many people got burned, the fact that so many people didn't know what they were investing in in the first place, all of that bothers me. Back to Bitcoin though, I've seen a lot of people blaming crypto investors and crypto enthusiasts, pointing the finger at the people who actually care about the subject, and it goes back to the same argument people have always had. that. Crypto, quote unquote, has no value, which is such an archaic way of looking at things that I'm frankly tired of addressing it, so I'm not even going to. Now, as far as actual issues with crypto go, a stronger argument could be made for this possible weakness that an individual with enough power in the market like Elon Musk can manipulate it. Back in January, before Tesla even announced anything about Bitcoin, all Elon Musk had to do was add hashtag Bitcoin to his bio on Twitter, and that was enough to boost it by 20%. This is a form of currency that is supposed to be the answer to government control of our money. And the fact that one individual can have that kind of influence or control or whatever you want to call it is alarming at best and deeply, deeply troubling at worst. That being said, it is a volatile market, and anyone who invests should always do their own research and recognize the risks involved before investing. It's more likely than not that Elon Musk's tweets and antics won't greatly affect our money long term, at least that's what I hope, but these events have given more credibility to naysayers and people who criticize crypto. What are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think Elon Musk is making crypto better or worse? I would love to hear about it in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, and if you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing to BTC Pro for more videos. Thanks again, everyone. See you soon.